Richard from the Float Centre is going to give me some great tips on safely floating my horse, Kite. Hi Richard. Hi Olivia. So can you give me some tips on floating horses? Sure, okay. One of the first things we've got to remember is always check the float before you start. Make sure the float is safe and make sure it's parked on a level surface that's safe for you and the horse. One of the things to remember is always hold the horse firmly by the uh, halter rope just under his halter yep. and then the other end. Yep. Never wrap the rope around your fingers or around your hand in case it gets caught. If the horse runs off you could have a serious injury or, or, uh, or break your yep. arm. Onto the tailgate, good boy. Now you see here, Kite's quite happy to go on there. Um, again, if you've got a young horse, if he wants to stop, let him stop and sniff. If he wants to go back, don't try to fight him. Yep. He's much more powerful than you are. So just let him go off and come back when he's a bit more relaxed. Yep. Okay? So in this case, Kite's quite happy, so we'll ask him to go onto the float. Good boy. Now you'll notice at this point, I, I haven't walked onto the float with him. I've stopped yep. at the top of the tailgate. That's the safest thing to do. Let the horse walk on when you want him to. In this case, he's happy to stand and relax and then we can close uh, the divider and close the breech door of the float. Yep. Okay, Olivia, at this stage, we'll get you to close the other breech door and then we'll close the tailgate. Yep. We'll leave the top door up for the moment because if this were a young horse, we want to make sure that he was comfortable when we closed everything and wasn't frightened. Okay, I'll help you lift the tailgate. You yep. stand to the side, never behind the tailgate. Yep. Lift it and close the latches. Okay, let's go around to the front of the float and we'll uh, show you how to tie him up. Okay, Olivia, show me how you tie him up, remembering not to tie him too tight so that he can get his head up if he needs and to drop it down so that he can cough. Yep. Okay. Good boy, Stan. That's it. Now we always tie to binder twine so that uh, if something serious does happen he can break away without hurting himself. Okay, so the vents are open. Let's close the access door. Will I make sure the side windows are open? So there's plenty of flow through ventilation, remembering that that's so important for horses to make sure there's plenty of airflow. And now we can close the top rear door before we head off with the horse. Yep. So do we need to check anything here? Yes we do, you're quite right Olivia. There's a few critical things. Firstly, ensure that this catch is down and that the float is securely on the back of the car. Yep. Next, make sure the safety chain is on and secured to the car. Thirdly, make sure the handbrake is off. Fourthly, the jockey wheel is up and secure. Yep. And lastly, make sure the lights are plugged in and all are working. Alright, okay. cool. Now we're going to have a look at the safety camera. Alright. Olivia, one of the problems with floating is that usually you can't see a horse or know what he's doing in the float. Yep. So for that reason we're using a trailer view camera monitoring system. This is a safety feature so that you can keep an eye on the horse while you're travelling. Yep. Now you don't need to watch the screen continuously yep. and certainly the driver shouldn't be doing that. But the yep. passenger can keep an eye on the horse and make sure the horse is safe and secure and happy um, and the best way of doing that is with one of these camera systems. For more information about floats and cameras go to thefloatcentre.com